You know what? Run my gun! Okay, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it! And we're gonna get abducted. Great. This is not how I wanted to go out, you know? This is not how I wanted to- Hey, have you ever wondered what it'd be like to be abducted? But not be abducted by a human? But instead be abducted by an alien? Well, this whole game, they are here. Alien abduction horror just turns those thoughts into reality. Alright, um, I won't lie. Um, I, I haven't checked the story of the, um, game. But I'm assuming we're gonna get abducted or someone's gonna get abducted, you know? Because abduction in, in the title. I mean, by definition, it's like being forced or like taken away. I mean, so it's probably gonna happen. Alright, before we get into this, is demo and prologue. Um, I'm not sure which one we should click, but prologue sounds like it would be like um, before the demo, so let's just do that. The prologue tells the story of the first UFO contact that happened 30 years ago before the event shown in the demo vision. The main character is Private Ma Michael Anderson, who serves at a military base near Grace Gracewood Farm. By chance, he becomes a witness of terrible, inexplicable events. All right. Air Force Base, August 6th, okay. This is Alpha. I... Bye. With an unidentified object at 270 degrees, 20 miles moving fast. Do you copy? Over. I copy. Over. Oh. I don't know. Negative. I'll try to get in touch. You entering controlled airspace. What are your intentions? Introduce yourself. Uh, I don't think. I don't think they can introduce themselves properly. Introduce themselves. No answer. Switching to heat control. Pushing down. Honestly, I don't know the what's going on. I think Delta or whatever that is is uh, having a bad situation right now. I can do anything because I'm a hero. Oh, I don't know if I'm doing this anymore. Well, uh, oh, hey, yep, yep. The green dot. We have to follow the green dot from there, right? This is base. The object has landed. Your task is to identify the object without contact. Without okay, contact. Omega yeah. team will arrive in one minute. We'll conduct surveillance from the air. Drive with care. Report when you arrive. All right. So I'm being monitored, right? Like I'm not all by myself out here, right? I need five by five, sir. Out. Hey, voice acting. We can talk. All right. So, where am I? I'm looking for a green dot or something on that thingy. All right. Most importantly, I'm just trying to not get bodied. All right. Oh, my stamina? Wait. Where did you show my stamina? I don't think it does, sorry. So I gotta be preservative, preservative of it. Hello? Anybody out here? You know, let me just, let me find you, but at a long distance, so. Hey, where are they? Hey, let's go, I have support, I have support. Nice, alright. You supported me, thank God. Bro. This is Omega, we see you, we got him on the train. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, can you actually come a bit closer to me? I don't feel comfortable that you're going far away. Oh no. Please don't leave me out here, man. Oh no. Come on. I don't like that. Why are you... Alright. I mean, I'm still in the distance, so they can still find me. And see me. Oh, wait, oh. There's multiple green dots now. Yo, is that normal? There's multiple green dots. Uh, am I supposed to follow that trail? Alright then. Follow the trail then. Okay. Oh, where's that sound? You guys hear that sound, right? I know that sound. Omega, Wait. this is Michael Anderson. 
have recorded radiation detect oh. counter indicator is average. This is not good. Roger that we're all quiet here. I don't lie, I really like the graphics. A lot. Alright, continue operation here. Yeah, um, there's someone else is with me. The object is being detected. It's a box with Don't know this movement. Can you repeat that? I don't know how far away it is from me. Um. I don't like that. I don't know where it's at. Uh, how far is it from me? Oh, it's getting very loud. Uh, Omega, what the hell is going on with your devices? Radiation levels rising. Over. Have they been hijacked? Uh, they got worse. Oh no. Why are you, why are you going further? Space, can you hear me? Something strange is happening. Yeah, can I like be on the helicopter too, you know? Why am I all alone out here? This is the base. Omega, stay away from the object. Oh, no. Observe the object from a distance. This is bad. Very bad. Sounds like it's about to crash. Oh sure, I think it is about to crash. Dude, I think you should back up uh, that helicopter away from wherever you, the thing anomaly thing is. Oh no. Hey, what's going on? What the hell's going on there? Yo, you good? Oh, what was the sound? You hear that? Yeah. I know I'm not only I'm no it's not just me that's hearing that. Well, it's not safe for me to be okay, honestly. Oh my god, fly away. Michael Anderson, follow protocol. We're much oh what the heck is that blue light? Oh, I'm leaving! I'm leaving! I'm leaving! I'm leaving! Gotta go! I gotta go! I gotta go! What the hell is going on? F this! I'm out, man! Now we're out! Damn it! Freaking heck! Alright, time. Run. We're out. We're out. Can we leave? Can anyone hear me? No. Oh, I'm going back to my Jeep. Bro. Why isn't your adrenaline kicking in, man? Run faster. Okay. Can anyone answer? Damn it. Damn it. Oh, I should have brought my cheap along the trail. <laughs> night vision! We yeah. Thank god, night vision. I love this so much. Okay. Ooh. I feel a bit safer. Not too much though, but I'm still a bit safer. Gotta make it back to my Jeep. I don't think the bot. No, please. Aliens, don't abduct me, alright? Please. Oh, okay, I thought it was in fact. Hey, no, no. Mm. Damn it. Where am I going? Hey, no. Hey, stop, stop, stop. Aliens, I don't like what you're trying to do to me. Please, please go away. I don't. I didn't mean to do anything bad. I was curious as to what was going on, you know? Please, please, I just want to live. All I want to do is live, man. Please. It was so close, man. I could taste freedom. I could taste freedom right now, guys. I could taste freedom right now. Come on. Let's get in. Let's get in. Can we give in? Was I not supposed to come over here? Well, um... Uh... Alright, guys. She's back here. Um... I uh, wasn't supposed to go back to the car. Uh, that was a very cowardly and selfish move that I regret doing, and I will not do that again because I am a hero. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna redeem myself. Watch. So I guess I'm supposed to like go to where the helicopter 
crash. UFO might be, so that's nice. I can't wait to possibly get my life ended and we'll be abducted. Both of bad end. So. Alright, this time don't don't fly away! Fly away this time. And yeah, yeah. Should probably go. I'm not I don't mean this much scared. Oh There's two other blue lights? Oh shoot. What's going on? They're not friendly for shit, though. Oh. oh. Damn, it's epic sound. Hello? Anybody out here? Can anyone hear me? Yeah. Over. I'm scared right now. Uh. Night vision. Can this is not help. Answer? Damn it. Okay. Go. Do I go to where the helicopter crashed? Or Do this. You can do this. You trained for this moment in your life, right? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Wait, I did something. Alright. What am I supposed to be trying to find? Is it sound? Oh no. Hey! I don't like that. What the fix going on? Get back! Alright, what's going on? Bad stuff, bad stuff's happening. Alright, stay back. Oh, I gotta stay back right now. I what's going on? Well, I'll fight you! Yeah. As soon as I said that, they just stopped. That's what I thought. Okay, I didn't mean it. Oh. You guys hear that sounds, right? Whoa. I think... I'm supposed to go over there. Oh, sounds like bass music a bit. Like bass beats. Alright. We're definitely getting near it. Whoa! Something's in me! Something's in me! Wait! Wait! Oh shoot! Freak! I right, jump off cliff! Jump off cliff! Oh! Hey! Oh, no. Back up! Back up! Back up! Shoot! No! Alright! I'm effed up right now! Hello? Hey! Something's behind me! Hey! Hey! Stay back! Stay back! I see you! Oh shoot! Something's behind me, innit? What's going on? Get night vision on? What do you aliens want from me? Stay back, I wasn't trying to hurt you or anything. I was just trying to like, you know, find out what you guys were. Believe me, come on man. You guys gotta believe me. Uh... Do I walk to you guys? Wait! Hey. Oh shoot, Bo. What am I supposed to do? You know what? Run my gun! Okay, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I mean it! They are here. Yeah, they definitely bodied that. We bodied Mike Anderson. Now, we can play the demo. Okay. Ex unexplained phenomenon occurred at the Gracewood Farm. On the night of August 7th, the Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at the Break, breakneck speed over the cornfield. The lights moved in a random direction and, diff and at different speeds. After a while, they vanished. This strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night. For five nights, according to the farmer, the farm, all the animals animals went crazy. The dog became aggressive, tried to attack him, and bit him. The children complained that someone was walking under the windows. Farmer Peter Sherman himself in the field saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate deception? Drawing attention to oneself? Or a sensation about an alien invasion? Journalist Taylor Fox travels to Great Square Farm to take a photo and make a report for the local newspaper. Is it just me or like, when crazy stuff like this happens, it's always the journalist that's come. 
the journalists are always the main characters in these. Man. Alright. Talk to farmer Peter shit, man. Alright, yep, yep. I can tell that we're gonna survive for sure. <laughs> Those are the UFOs already? Hey, yeah, I take that. This is very different from the prologue, obviously. Oh, hey, on a cornfield farm? Or like a farm? You know? I've seen a bunch of alien movies and like... Farmhouses are always like... The main, um... Setting of like the... Movie. Alright, let's just know. Inspect the house. Farmers know. Mr. Fox, we made an appointment, but something had happened. Our daughter went missing. My, my wife went to town for help. My son and I went to check out the farm. We will leave notes for you and the police in case we patch e pass each other. Be careful. Peter Sherman. Uh, I hope you guys knew, know that they, she, your daughter probably got abducted, honestly. That scarecrow? Alright. Let's go. Hey, this is a pretty nice house. Right, wait, close the way. Nice. Cl close entirely. Close entirely. Not nah, close entirely. I'm not close entirely. Oh, put that back. Put that back. I don't like that. Nice painting you got. Nice lock. Cola. Um. No coke. Milk. Um. This is very nice. Uh. Very cramped, but nice home, you know? Yeah. That sound, what the heck? Whatever. The photo members of the Sherman family. Alright. Yeah, hike? Alright. Let's go. Uh, let's go upstairs. Wait, so what are we doing in the house again? Like... We're just exploring the house for no reason? They have a dog too. Wait, wait, did they bring the dog too or something? I thought like we would know if the dog was here. Hmm. Ah, it seems like an important room. We go to the last. Alright, ah, this one seems more important. I don't know which one seems less important since I want to be able to explore before the story continues. Let's just go to this room. Alright, it's this. It looks like this shrine was made by the missing dog of the farmer. The paper is painted on both sides. No! no! They don't kill the dog! Oh, I hope not. I hope not. Nah. The aliens are gonna catch a fade with me, man. If I see them, I'm gonna be my. If I ever get a gun and I see them, they're dead on time. Alright, what's this? This is my daughter's room. During the night, I heard a strange noise. When I came in, she wasn't in her bed, and the window was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. Hopefully they're not doing too much bad experiments on them. Alright, good. No one's out there. Walkie talk. Apparently it's belonged to the missing goat. If you listen closely, you can hear very strange sounds. Yeah, I'm not trying to uh, get more close, you know. Go in here. Close that door. Yeah. Alright, uh, I can hide under the bed if stuff gets crazy out there. Whoa, some investigation going on you got. Hmm, Alright. Very good photos actually. Honestly. Alright, so there's just photos of the aliens and stuff. Nice. I don't remember. Some pretty good drawings honestly. Alright. That looks... That looks like a bunch of words. Oh, oh my god, it keeps on going. It keeps on going. Why, uh, why is there so many words? Oh my, I mean, well, it's a bunch of words on the notebook, but... Alright, okay. Here's the deal. Uh, if you don't want to see me read this, skip to this time on the video. Um, if you do want to see me read it, well, you know, just sit here, I guess, and watch. Alright. <clears throat> Sticker. Found my old diary from when I was 15 years old. How could I forget that? Diary text. Today was the most exciting and scariest day of my life. I saw the aliens! My parents think I'm lying, but it's true! I was fishing from an abandoned pier on the river. Suddenly, I was deafened by a roar coming from behind. 
I turned around, very low above the ground, a huge disc with four flashing lights or windows her was hovering. I felt a punch that seemed to throw me into the air. I froze there as if in zero gravity. Everything around me became blindingly bright, and I seemed to lose consciousness. I remember seeing three aliens with gray skin and big eyes. I was placed on a table as if I was welded to it. They were standing over me. It seemed to me that they were communicating with each other te telepathically. Then one of them came over and did something to my head. I don't remember anything else. I woke up on the pier later in the evening and barely made it home. My head was buzzing and I walked home as if in a delirium. When I got there, I found several cuts on my body and two small, very smooth holes being behind my ears. What was that? I'm scared to sleep. These aliens think they could just do them to these humans? Nah. We're about to kill them. Oh, what's the... Take a photo of the diary. Oh, okay. You can barely see Bruh. anything. Take that. Yeah. Um, you guys seen that one meme? Oh, it's on here though. I didn't, I didn't get to check it. Oh, what the? Hi. Oh god, what's going on? Yo. Hide under the bed. Go. Oh no. Come on. Who's the main character? Are we gonna die? I was about to say. You guys know that human? Um, uh, that human. You know that meme where, like the indomitable human um spirit, or like humans beat aliens and stuff like that. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do to these aliens. Yes! Yes! No! 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 no. The flashlight. Oh, Bob, this is the best hiding spot ever. Scripted van, so I have to go outside. Oh god, bro. Oh god. Oh no. Well, I think that's always been open actually. Okay. Okay. Stay calm. No, wait. I said I'm a hero. I'll beat that guy. Stay calm. I'm a hero, as my name, you know. I can beat these suckers. I can beat them suckers. Cause what am I? What am I? A hero. Hell's hero. That's right, baby. What's that door behind us? Another one. And close that door behind us. Alright, what's up? Ben? I'll actually keep the flashlight on. Bombers know. Alright. As a child, headaches began to bother me. They tortured me to this day. I went to the dark the dozens of time, but no one could explain the reason for the occurrence. Now I understand why the doctors could not determine the cause of migraines. The answer is simple. Abduction! I only remember the alien abduction when I found my old diary. It was then, then the migraines began. The cuts that I noticed then, behind the ear, were a trace of them. I'm sure they implanted something in me, some kind of transmitter or implant. Because of this, I forgot everything. I definitely decided that I would get it. I'm not crazy. Oh no. Uh, what's this? A little jar of strange eyes. What the freak? Uh. Photos of dead animals? Bro, these aliens, bro. Nah. Maybe you think you can just come on Earth and treat us as test subjects. Very wrong with them. Um, Playing a VHS. What's going on? 
the heck? Yeah, I don't like this at all, honestly, guys. Yeah, right, give me some video. Oh, oh. God, man. All right, I was just trying to say speak English. All right, nothing wrong with that, man. Wait. Where I had footsteps. Can I see outside? I'm dead, guys. It's not flashlight. Do I exit out? as fast as you can go back inside if you're so scared of it what do you want me to focus on take a picture or something oh no get in the damn it go run what are you doing no! run run why can't you run faster run to the car what do you think i'm doing we're gonna die because you can't run now this is your fault Run fast! <laughs> oh my god. Get in the car. Get in the car. You should have adrenaline, alright? Oh shoot. Get the car going. Get the car going. Holy shoot, this car sucks. Get the car going! And we're gonna get Dr. Gray. This is not how I wanted to go out, you know? This is not how I wanted to go out, you know? Yeah, this is great. Get it going! This look <laughs> Yeah, I got something. That's your fault. You couldn't get the dang car going, man. <laughs> I won't lie. I gotta say there's one thing. That's kind of the main character's fault. See, like, how do you... you you should have had adrenaline. You should have like at least been able to like start the car up. I don't know, at least tamper with the car, but man. Well, that was um they are here, the alien abduction horror game. It was a pretty good um demo and prologue of what you know it's the full game is to me. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And until next time.